Good morning, everybody. It's your boy, CB Sports TV. Shout out to the whole LDBC. Yeah, y'all gotta forgive me, man. I've been on the grind. Dead tired. But, I mean, hey, I'm gonna get this money. You know what I'm saying? That ain't stopping nothing. So, um, I've been meaning to talk about this all week. It's Jamel Charlo, Fight Week. He fights this Sunday, June 23rd, on Fox against Jorge Cota. Of course, Jorge Cota is a replacement for Tony Harrison, who injured his ankle and had ankle surgery, you know, so he has a legit injury because we were supposed to get that anticipated rematch, so the way we can do what I feel was what, what Jamel was going to do, which was right that wrong or that robbery of him getting robbed in the first fight against um Tony Harrison on um, December 22nd for his WBC junior middleweight title, 154-pound title, but, you know, he has to take this fight, he has to come in here and take this fight seriously, he should get Jorge Cota up out of here, you know what I'm saying, I'll say within six rounds, just take your time, you know, let it come, you know, get back to the Jamel Charlo that you are, which is a boxer, which is a superb boxer, you know, get back to boxing and, you know what I'm saying, controlled aggression and let the knockout come, build blocks and break them down, that's what I want to see Jamel Charlo do, get behind that jab, jab to the face, you know what I'm saying, get, get, you know, dig with body shots and get back to combination punching, instead of looking for that one hit of quitter. You get back to that combination punching and you get back to, you know what I'm saying, being a slick boxer, you know what I'm saying, and not getting hit as much as you were getting hit now because you, he didn't used to get hit like that. That's honestly speaking. So he needs to get back there to get back to, you know, improving that defense and, you know, just getting back to the basics and, you know, because the power's there, you know what I'm saying, you build the blocks, you, you start racking them up, you'll get the knockouts. It won't be no first, second round knockouts. It don't matter. You'll get it, though. And that's the whole thing. I need to see Jamel Charlo get back to, you know, his roots as a boxer because he's a natural and skillful boxer. He has power, yes, but get back to boxing. Jorge Cota should be out of here in, in six rounds or less, honestly. That's just how I feel about it. He needs to get a, get in there, jab this man in combinations, dig to the body with that left hook. And, 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 and jab to his sternum as well. I, I love the, the jab to the sternum, the double up to the jab to the sternum. That's going to stop anybody in the checks, but you know what I'm saying? But if he gets back to, you know, lead, leading with that jab and working everything off the jab, Jamel Charlo would be a lot better. You know what I'm saying? That fight with Tony Harrison, I had him winning eight rounds to four. I don't see how Tony Harrison won that fight, but I mean, hey, the judge scored it like that, so we got to go with the decision and keep it moving. <clears throat> and that's what we're going to do. And we'll see and talk about the controversy. We know it's controversy, but right as, as of right now, Tony Harrison is the WBC 154 pound um, champion, and that's just what it is. So, got to get over with. Got to keep moving. It's time for Jamel to get back to um, go back to the drawing board. And I want to see what he's um, you know worked on, and I want to see him get this guy up out here in impressive fashion and just systematically just take him apart and break his will. That's what I want to see, and then knock him out. And as long as he does, they get back to boxing. I mean, Jamel Charlo, you know what I'm saying? To me, it's still the best at 154 pounds. He has to go out there and prove it again. But I think this, you know what I'm saying, loss was a blessing in disguise. It's made him more hungry. And and he, I think he sees the mistakes that he made. I think he'll listen now to Derrick James. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think that he'll follow the game plan. If he'd follow the game plan, he'd have got him up out of there. You know, he'd have got Tony Harrison up out of there. Y'all let me know what y'all think. It's your boy CB Sports TV. Shout out to the LDBC. I'm gone.